We made it. Finally got done with all of our turkeys. All the chickens are done. We are done processing poultry for the season. However, I do still have about mm, 25 rabbits that I need to process. Haven't been able to get to those yet today or maybe even this week. So we'll see though. Anyways, we got our eight turkeys done yesterday. We still have our processing stuff set up over there that I need to clean up and get in the garage. Uh, but I got a whole mess of stuff in the garage that I need to get picked up and put away before we can do that. So anyways, I just got back from making deliveries for today. I had to do them early because I have some business in our uh, local town that's an hour away for the next three days. So I'm gonna be pretty tied up in meetings and all that fun stuff. Anyways, look at these guys. They wanna be fed. I also had to stop by the feed store down the road and grab a bag of food because our supplier of bulk food is also out of town until Friday. So trying to figure it out here. Anyways, it's pretty exciting. I'm so happy we're done with turkeys. Our biggest turkey for the season ended up being 29 pounds. And that is one that we're gonna put in our oven because uh, I don't think we have any customers that want to pay for a 29 pound turkey. It gets pretty spindy. Anyways, that's plenty for us. That's plenty of leftovers for us too over the next, gosh, that would probably last us like at least a week with leftovers. So I love leftovers at Thanksgiving, gotta have them. Anyways, let's get these guys fed and then we're gonna head down to the mailbox. I wanna show you guys what I ordered that just showed up. Uh, it's pretty cool, so hang tight. Come on, chicky chicky, let's eat. These guys, let's carve them. They're ready for dinner. They're always starving. Look at all these holes, guys. This is from the chickens uh, bedding down in this deep bedding. <clears throat> Digging down, taking dust baths. Getting warm like they even do it underneath the rabbits. Tell me they don't love that. Another thing we had to do for the rabbits is we have a, a gravity fed water system. But uh, it's been so cold and it cooled off so quickly that it's already freezing up. And typically we don't have to deal with a freeze up on it uh, until like mid to the end of December. So that sucks, but it is what it is, right? So anyways, all right, I'm gonna get my heavier coat on, then we'll head down to the mailbox. What are you up to? Hmm, cutting up onions. Are you for frying them? yet? Not yet. What are you making for dinner? Uh, split pea soup with ham. Ooh, because we had ham last night? Yeah, season leftovers. All right, enough procrastinating. I need to get my heavy coat on and go down to the mailbox. It's cold, try not to be outside very much. All right, rabbit water nipples from rabbit water nipples. No, rabbitnipples.com. So these are the things I, these are the little uh, waters that I've been talking about. Um, we've slowly kind of had to replace them because, I'll show you. They screw together so you can clean them. Here, let me open it. All right, so here. They screw together so you can pull the, the valve and everything out here and clean it because they get kind of gunked up sometimes. The problem is, the only problem I found with these things is the rabbits can unscrew them. They chew on them and end up unscrewing them and if you don't catch it in time, you lose the inside. And uh, that's not good. Anyways, I think I got this whole thing for, you get five waters, the tees, and the connectors for 20 bucks. And I think that, I believe got them on Amazon, right? They come from rabbitnipples.com, but I think I ordered them on Amazon. Yes, Amazon. All right, so that's enough of those. The next thing that I'm pretty excited about, Elizabeth, you know what this is. And, uh, seeds. So we ordered these, because I really wanted to try them out. This survival is, garden seed. Yeah, this is a survival garden seed, and it's the homesteader pack. I don't even know what's in it, but I think it has a mixture of herbs and lettuce and all sorts of different things. So what I want to do is, <clears throat> and they're all non-hybrid, chemical-free. They're heirloom seeds. They're heirloom seeds. So, and they really promote you actually keeping the seeds. They want you to keep them and regrow from them. So that's part of their deal. Pretty neat company. They are USA made. And I think everything actually that they do comes from the USA. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, so what we're gonna do, Beth's been, we've been talking a little bit, and we got a window over here. 
and Elizabeth had mentioned something about making a salad garden. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna make some sort of window box that is cat proof. <laughs> yeah, cat proof. And uh, something that when we water, it's not challenge. gonna run on the floor, but we wanna be able to grow like a salad mix, maybe some radishes and some lettuce and stuff like that inside the house over the winter. And this window here gets the perfect amount of sunlight. So that's the goal. Also, on another note, I came home from deliveries today and Elizabeth, Madeline, and Easton had all rearranged the living room and dining room. They moved the dining room table closer to the living room. And why is that? Because you, you are going to bring in the Christmas tree and we're going to start decorating. So we're going to be those people, those people that decorate before Thanksgiving. So we have never since we've started doing Christmas together, we've never decorated prior to Thanksgiving, ever. We always decorate the day yep. after Christmas. And I'm not gonna lie, we always take our tree down within a day or two after Christmas. That's the truth. Uh, so we're gonna go all out this year, inside the house at least. We're gonna hang lights, we're gonna put a Christmas tree up early, uh, let the kids decorate all that. And then uh, I won't do a whole lot of lights outside because I don't have a whole lot of electrical plugins outside, but we're going to go Plus all out there's inside. not a whole lot of people to see the outside. Yeah, I mean, when you live in the country, who's really going to come by and see your Christmas lights? I mean, us and the kids, but they'd rather but have the inside decorated. I'd rather have the inside cozy and yeah. joyful. So, yeah, they completely rearranged it. It was a nice surprise. It's always nice. You guys know when you come into a rearranged house or something that's changed up a little bit, it gives you a sense of comfort. And that's kind of what we're going after. It's kind of a change of seasons. You know, you go from fall to winter is kind of the rest and relaxation season so you change your scenery inside a little bit and it helps you calm down and relax and really transition i think and then the other cool thing is is now that it's winter and it's cold enough i can actually start getting to work on some of the stuff inside that i've kind of put off all spring summer and fall because we've been really busy like finishing the trim around our house since we put in all the new flooring like a year and a half ago i haven't finished the trim yet so we're gonna go around and finish all the trim and do all that fun stuff Alright, well let's see what's in this thing. I'm Open excited. that thing up. I'm excited too. I hope there's herbs. So anyways guys, this came from herbs. Survival Garden Seeds. You can check them out. I'm going to add a link into our description uh, on this oh, video. Oh and you can, I think you can get 10 or, I think it's 10% off just by clicking on the link. <coughs> uh, but I'll put it in there. I'll put all the details in there with it in the description. And here's you guys can, oh yeah, here. here's our card. And you guys can order. Yeah, so it's all non-GMO, heirloom, open pollinated. There's their card. Look, we've got. But I will add it all there. Sugar so what do we get? Peas, lettuce, we got lettuce, onions, parsley, more onions. Oh, these are wall of This is a oh, wow. oh, wow. so These are sweet onions. Mustard greens, yeah. cabbage, we have cabbage. Leeks. No, we haven't had leeks. They are. Brussels sprouts, melons, mm -hmm. broccoli, mm -hmm. daisies, pumpkin, yep. beef, mm -hmm. turnip. Ooh, burgundy beans. I bet those are good. Ooh, good. Lemon cucumbers. Ooh, there you go. Those I've been, good, I've been wanting to try those. Oh, we bought some of those at the farmer's market. That I know. One. I want to try good. to grow them. Mom. Cucumbers. Ooh, black eyed peas. Nice. What is this? This is spinach. Oh, chocolate. I love spinach. It's a pepper. Chocolate beauty pepper. I've never had it. This one has scallops. Winter squash. Winter squash. Winter squash. Nice. Gourds. Watermelon. Oh, oh, yeah. Those are cool. Eggplant. Cool. That'll be fun to grow. Oh, yeah. Remember the We planted those that one year. Corn. I like those. Garlic. Corn. Chimes. Well, we don't eat unfortunately, corn. Unfortunately, we I do have... not eat corn. Yeah, Elizabeth see? Elizabeth has some I can't eat reactions corn. to any kind of green, so we don't Mom, eat green. Mom, but garlic. What's that? Garlic. Oh, pop oh, popcorn. Look. Oh, basil. Garlic. Popcorn. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. I wish I could eat popcorn. I freaking love popcorn, but we just don't have it in the house. Soybean. Now we do. It's my fault. That's all right. I don't need <laughs> to eat anything. Yeah, sense. soybeans. You know, we have actually gotten a lot healthier Garlic and feel a lot tried. better yeah. since cutting out oh. grain. We went grain free like a year ago, and I lost like 25 pounds in like four months. And my stomach healed. Yeah. Finally. Literally from going grain free. That's no joke. What is this? And I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't big to begin with, so that's pretty good. And this winter, we're going to try to do more recipes and share that with you guys. Yes, we are.
Yeah. All right, so pretty cool. How many oh. packs do we get? 50? There's 50 yeah, heirloom there's 50. seeds in here. And this is the Homesteader pack. If you get the Farmer's pack, I think it comes with 100. A lot more, yeah. And then you can get smaller ones, too, that come with 25. Uh, I'm not sure what those are called, though. Like I said, I will link each one in the description uh, down below this video. Yeah. Check them out. Yeah. Click through on the link, and you guys can get a discount on it. Uh, it's pretty neat. Lemon